Okay YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Gonna be serious for a minute uh, and talk about painting by light. Photography is known as, sorry, let me rephrase that. Photography is a Latin word and it means to paint with light. Now, if an artist uses a paint and brush, then we as photographers we use a torch as our paintbrush and our light as our paint. So what I've done, I've came to this abandoned building and trust me it is abandoned and I'm being 100% serious. There's a hole right there in that floor which I went straight through into the basement of this derelict building. So if you're going to try painting by light then YouTube, I strongly advise you not to come to derelict places. The only reason I'm here is because I am stupid. Anyway, moving on. The torch, this cost me £10 from B&Q. And I'm going to show you some images that I'm going to make only with my Nikon D90 and this flash. What I love about this torch if it's just show you in the distance is that we can set it on a focus beam if we don't want a focus beam we can spread our light out by adjusting it like so and this is ideal just for adding a little glimmer of light on the subject so YouTube let's get to work and let's start painting this place by light I think I will probably paint this scene first, which we currently see in night fusion mode. So let's get cracking. and see. What I'm soon. doing now is I'm going to paint this stairwell in to my photograph. You're not going to be able to see this, but at the bottom of the stairwells there is rocks. So I'm also going to paint this in too. Also, YouTube, don't be afraid to move into your image when you're painting by light. The only thing what I do suggest is please do not turn around and point your torch back at the camera as you will ruin your photograph. As you can see now here, I'm going on a focus beam up around the door. I'm painting what's in behind that door, which is a brick wall. I'm painting at the top. I'm going to paint parts of this ceiling. I'm going to move back. YouTube, again, when you're moving back, don't point your torch at the camera, simply move back and keep your torch faced forward. Now at the top of the stairwell I can see all these trees and stuff so there we go I think that is my first photograph so let's have a look at what this photograph does look like. Okay YouTube, so for this shot, I've got my camera set on 20 seconds, it's on an aperture of f3.5, I'm on an ISO of 500. YouTube, just to let you know one thing, this is one thing that really bugs me and it actually kind of like upsets me because I see a lot of photographers and they take these excellent photographs, I mean outstanding photographs and I cringe because there's one thing that spoils that image and that is is that the photographer couldn't be bothered to change his white balance now on his camera or in post processing here's my quick tip this torch where i have in my hand is a normal torch these light sources are incandescent they're like your light bulbs what we have in the house uh, if you're using leds then they're fluorescent light sources they're like uh the fluorescent lighting is what you would see in like Tesco's or in offices where they need bright daylight. So that's fluorescent lighting. So your white balance would be set to fluorescent lighting. In this case, my white balance needs to be set to incandescent to match the temperature of my torch. Okay, so my camera's now on a 10 second countdown and I'm going to paint my photograph. I'm going to pay particular attention to the doors. I'm going to pay particular attention to the path. 
to this stairwell, which is all vaulted. Again, the door frames, the paths, particularly down here in this basement, because that's going to show up in the image. Hence, this is the basement I fell through the floor to before. Again, lucky I didn't hurt myself. But this is what this photograph now looks like. Okay, YouTube, so here we go. I've got my final photograph of the night coming up. I'm on a shutter speed of 20 seconds. I'm on an aperture of f3.5 and I'm on an ISO of 500. YouTube, if you're going to be like me and you're going to start painting by light every now and again, top tip is to always bring spare batteries with you. My torch, the battery's just gone, but because I've carried extra batteries with me, I'm now able to continue and finish off my last photograph of the night. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the button, not going to block model focus. There you go. Countdown from 10 seconds. I'm going to paint the exterior of this derelict building and hopefully it's going to be a very good photograph. Now, here we go. First of all, I'm going to start off by painting this rubble. Then I'm going to get all this corrugated iron. I'm going to go around the frame of the building. Down this corrugated iron. This is the bit where I blind you, YouTube. There we go, you blind it. Now we're going to paint the back wall. All the ceiling, all this fallen off timber. Everything what we see. And there we go, the camera is stopped. It's exposure. So the final photograph looks like this.